am Doug. And I'm Kathy. And, and this, this is Maggie May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today we want to show you around a very, very different way of camping for us. This is Voyager RV Resort. And you've heard me say resort kind of reserved before. But let's show you what a resort can be. Come along. Now this is Interstate 10. We're heading east out of Tucson and it's only maybe 10 minutes from downtown Tucson. It's very close, very convenient. We're going to take the exit here on Kolb Road and showing you this just to let you see what an easy in, easy out park this is. This is still the exit ramp. We're going to get over into the right hand lane. The only thing you have to watch when going into this park is getting the right entrance because there are a couple of different community entrances before we get to Voyager. One that they warned me about on the phone is when you get to the very first entrance, which is an area that's called Trails West, there is a large water tower that's actually just coming into sight there on your left. And it's painted up for Voyager, but it does have a red arrow at the bottom telling you to go on down the road. So don't turn in there. Now we want to show you the map of the place and Kathy, you had said at one point how many sites there were in here. I think it was around 1200. I think so. There's a lot. The ones that you see in blue are all the RV sites. This also borders into a housing area called the Cove and another one called the Bay. So this is a huge, huge complex. We're going to turn in here and you'll see the security gate right there. That's the sign you want to look for. You'll go up to the gate, tell them you have a reservation and they will verify your, your name, send you on through the gate and we'll show you on up here where registration and check-in is. But you can start to see when you go in, there's grass, which is unusual around Tucson. There's beautiful tall palm trees all the way along the boulevard. And as we round this little curve, you'll start to see markings on the right hand side of the road. And that is for uh, your RV for parking for check-in. There's also on the road coming out the same sort of thing so if you do want to hook your toad up out there you can. The building right in front of us is registration. We'll show you more about that here in a little bit. But first off we want to show you the RV spots. Now this is Memorial Day weekend that we're shooting this video. So they are through their peak season. And so everybody tells us at peak season, this is packed full. They draw the line at 100 degrees. It, everybody leaves. <laughs> that's right. They said everybody cleared out within two weeks this year in April when they had their first 100 degree day. <laughs> it was only in the mid 90s and they kept talking about how unusually cool it was yeah. while we were there. It was warm to me, but that's yeah, okay. It was. <laughs> And as they say, it's a dry heat, but it's still hot. Yeah, it was hot. Now you'll see RV spots down here on the right that go on and on and on. We're gonna come up here by the next corner. We're gonna make a left and you'll see even more RV spots. Now, two days a week, if you set your trash out along the curb, they come pick your trash up. 
Uh, there is a maintenance facility where you can drop trash off. And there's also an area over here on the left, they have a couple of dumpsters that you can drop off trash anytime. But it's kind of nice having it picked up right at the site. And don't be too distracted by all those uh, park models there on the left. You, there are tons of RV sites. Yeah, there are what I would call small mobile homes. There are park models. There are site-built homes all in this area surrounding it. But right now, we're just going to show you the RV side of things. Yeah. Now, in this very front part, we're gonna make a right here at the stop sign and you'll see a few RVs up here. We're parked up here, going right into the sunshine. And we'll show you our site. And I've got to say, this is probably one of the longest pull through sites we've ever had. We're going to enter the site here from the back and we've got that far to get up to the coach and for a better look we're going to start at the front we've got a little concrete patio we had a tree which is almost unheard of yeah picnic table everything is gravel and there's not a weed to be found anywhere in it. They really manicure this park. And then this is going down the curbside. And the hookups are all right where they're supposed to be. The, the sewer is handy. The water is handy. There is cable we never hooked up to because we had 88 sites or 88 stations over the air and 30 and 50 amp. Well, you've seen the sights. They're nice and level. The hookups are great, but that doesn't really make it a resort. So we're going to show you what does. This is a resort facilities map, or the way I think of it, where all the amenities are. And directly across the road from where we were, this is the building labeled men's bathroom and shower. They have purified water available there by one gallon or five gallon. The men's bathroom, when you come in and turn to the left, there's four showers down that side. If you turn to the right, there's two more showers on that side. They are all uh, like stucco or concrete. And very nice, very clean. The back of that building is a massage shop. Right behind it are the nicest bocce ball courts I have ever seen. The women's shower and laundry is directly behind that. Where did the men do their laundry? There's another one. There's oh. <laughs> two big laundry areas. This is one of the few that I've ever been in that had three different sizes of washers and two different sizes of dryers. Now this is the woodworking area in the end of that building just before you get to a couple of nice big uh, tennis courts and pickleball courts. Now this building is home of Fat Willie's. And Fat Willie's is their sports bar and restaurant. We came in here to show you pictures of this kind of in an off hour. But this was the restaurant. This was the sports bar, TVs all around. And we ended up in a week's time and we're over there three different times, once for dessert, once for late lunch, and once for an evening meal. 
We both had salads on this occasion. This was our late lunch that were out of this world. And so is the blood orange margarita, I might add. And the mudslide. And the mudslide, yes. On the other side is their market. And the market has everything from shirts and souvenirs to fountain beverages to adult beverages, snacks, staples for your kitchen and all kinds of camping supplies everything that you would need that yeah, was great even greeting cards they have a beauty salon some of these are marked closed because i did shoot these on uh, memorial day so uh it wasn't as busy this area they have a church service in on Sunday mornings and I believe they also do uh, uh, some uh, fitness classes in there too. The fitness center, they've got a great gym that actually looks out onto the indoor pool. There are more pickleball courts. They have hot tub, sauna, a lap pool, an indoor pool, and a regular outdoor pool. And they are used and enjoyed. Oh yes, they are. There's a sewing room. This is the other laundry. This is where the guys do this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Shuffleboard courts. Never seen him set up like this. There's bleachers going both ways and there's shuffleboard <laughs> courts on both sides. And then they've got a, a, a wing that's got some extra little meeting rooms. This is their art room. Glass fusion. Ceramics. This is their silver shop. This is just the basic craft room. This one is stained glass. And you could purchase this stuff. That's right. The lapidary shop had all kinds of, of neat pendants and everything made out of polished stones. They have quite a nice billiard room. The ballroom is huge. They have their own mail service there, including a, lo a dr local box if it's just gonna be within the park and all the mailboxes there. This library is so much bigger than any library I think oh, I've no. ever seen in, a, in an RV park. And they did have a small area there of uh, videos and puzzles. Now this was the registration building that we showed you when we first came in the entrance. You'll park your, your rig and walk up to that. This is the hotel. So if you've got somebody that you want to have come visit you while you're here, you can get a hotel room for them. They got a nice little outdoor area with tables and umbrellas. This is just outside the registration area. Again, holiday weekend, the registration area was closed at the moment that I shot this, but you can see inside, it's like going into the registration area in a fine hotel. That's right. This is the activities office and they have activities even though the summer is off season, there's activities going on all the time. They have air, water, and vacuum that you can use there. This is the pro shop for their golf course. I will let you know this is a 55 and up uh, park. So uh, just do be aware of that. You 
you have your RV sites. This is in the rear of the complex. These are some of their stick built homes that are, are back there and they're beautiful. No, they are. And, and they're big. And landscaped and, and no RV park tour would be complete without a dog park. That's right. And, and it's grass. Oh, Maggie loved it. And it was usually busy. So, Kathy, what was your take on staying at Voyager RV Resort in Tucson, Arizona? I really love it. I can understand why. Yeah, absolutely. There is so much to see and do. And this is, if you are a Trails Collection or Trails Collection Plus member like what we are, it's $20 a night. So for a week stay, it cost us $140 to stay here. With all the amenities, the restaurant literally two rows over from where we are. That's right. And who wouldn't want to stay here for that kind of money? That's right. We That's spent right. weekly rates at RV parks a lot more than that and didn't get anywhere near this kind of amenities. So. What should they be doing? They should be getting on the phone right now. Right or now. getting on their computer right now. Getting a hold of Warren and Sharon Lewis, our friends with Thousand Trails. And this way, you can enjoy what we're enjoying. And I have to say, this is probably one of the nicest RV resorts we have ever stayed in. That's right. And for 20 bucks a night. You, We're you, definitely not roughing it. Yeah, you definitely can't <laughs> beat it. Give Warren and Sharon a call. Give them an email. Let them know you want to camp the way we just camped. And they will get you hooked up. Promise. Guarantee. That's right. With that, if you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe leave us a uh, ring that notification bell that way you'll know when all of our videos come out every monday evening and every friday morning every week and thank you for following us as we follow the moon thanks for watching today if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out Don't forget to follow us on social media too.